What's good people, Sam already Fight Talk. I'm here at Peter Sims Gym, Essex, with the man Robert Sagba. How are you, mate? I'm fine, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Now listen, I see you training with the boys yeah. today, man. That's some hard work, them, them hill sprints up and down, round the block. That's some graft, man. That's that's some serious training. We know you come off a, a fight where, up in Scotland, yeah. it, for me, it was an illegal blow. Uh, I think it was quite obvious to a lot of people. The decision was given against you, so you get yeah. you know, the knockout against you on the record. First of all, I suppose, how are you feeling after that? After that fight, you know, after that, when it immediately happened, I was just angry, and obviously, of course, you're upset and you're angry. And then a couple of hours later, I, I was actually over already. I'm quite strong, strong-minded, so nothing can get, even if even if it was the legal shot that knocked me out, I would come back straight away. But I feel like it was an illegal shot also. But it just had to keep moving forward. Yeah, me personally, I was I was surprised it was given as a legal shot. I was yeah. at home watching it, and I, yeah. immediately I thought a legal shot. You yeah. know, so the ref didn't. I mean, is there any room for an appeal? Is it worth? Is it is it something you'd even bother around? You know, it's there, there is. I'm gonna. I'm appealing it right now with the boards, so we just have to wait and see what happens. But I mean, everyone saw it was illegal. Sure, even Eddie Hearn came up to me and said that was a rubber punch. Yeah, sure, so hundred percent. Yeah. So what's the hope? A rematch? Uh, or you just want a no contest on your on your record? You don't. You're on a loss. Well, no, of this. I think there's gonna be no contest for now, and then we'll have to. I'll be boxing in December, hopefully, and then we'll probably be looking at a rematch later on. Yeah. Okay, that's what's gonna touch. So you know you're fighting in December. Do you know what card or what is it? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So I'm just still waiting back for the news. Now. Waiting for details. Yeah, training hard. Obviously, you've got a lot of guys who are fighting in the next couple yeah. of weeks. Training hard with these guys. So the gym is buzzing right now because we've got people. We've got Mikey, Miles, and Ryan boxing on November 12th, and then we've obviously got the rest of the guys boxing on the 26th. Like Spider, Ben, and Jack boxing 26th at Wembley. So two big shows. Yeah, everyone's buzzing. So this this has an effect. Did you, your training or your, your mentality or any way this you know this, no, this so setback? I took, I took ten days off, then I came straight back. Even then the ten days off, uh, I was still training and going for low runs. <laughs> Had to tell P and Tony that I'm resting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're back in December. Um, any anything different? That I mean, obviously you can't, you can never legislate getting hit with a shot like that, whether yeah. it was legal or illegal. Yeah. Um, so have you been training anything, anything specific to just sort of combat that? Really and truly, just just working on my flaws like I always do. The only thing that gets me in that oh, fight is that the before the fight, I'm the Peter Tommy jump straight on him, <laughs> and I gave him like a second to throw his combination, and that's my only regret. <laughs> but looking, but I'm looking my past. I don't think about it. Just always working on my flaws, always trying to be a better fighter. Definitely. Listen, it's a pleasure talking to you. I can't wait to see you, you back too. in there, mate. Thank you. Very Thanks much. for talking to Fight Talk. Thanks.